Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Spread their racks on new chain. My bitch love do cocaine. Ooh, I fuck a bitch I forgot name. I can't buy me no wet rain. Ooh, rather go and buy ball man. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Spread their racks on new chain. My bitch love do cocaine. Ooh. What's poppin' everybody? <laughs> it is me again, Destiny. You already know what's poppin', boo. If you were expecting somebody else, sorry to disappoint. It is just me, like always, with no friends. <laughs> just a loner. No collabs, no friends. No, I'm just kidding, you guys. All right, any home, it is not just me, actually, because I have this super exciting box something i actually paid for with my own money did not get sent to me i totally have been wanting this for centuries and i honestly thought that i would never be able to get my hands on it so when i was like what i'm able to order this online i like totally took advantage and you guys are probably like what are you talking about actually you guys probably know what i'm talking about because of the title of the video and that is some coco nuts yes boo you already know what's Poppin'. If you guys don't know what's poppin' and if you guys don't know what Cocoa Nugs are, Cocoa Nugs are basically a chocolate candy that looks exactly like weed. And when I first seen it, I saw it on Jungle Boy's Instagram, which is a dispensary in Los Angeles. There was a video of somebody eating these nugs of weed, and I was like, what the fuck, like edible weed? And then I looked into it a little bit more, and I found out that it was just chocolate. And I thought that it was an edible, so that way I would never be able to get my hands on it, because I don't live in Los Angeles, and I can't go to that dispensary. But then I figured out that at CocoNugs.com, you could just order these chocolates, you guys. They don't have marijuana, they don't have CBD, they don't have anything in it. It's just fucking chocolate. So enough of my talking and let's just get right on into it. First of all, for those of you guys who are wondering what the packaging is like, this is how it came. So it came in a priority mailbox that has a little sticker that says fragile, please handle with care. And there's also this protect from the heat. So yeah, I would expect good fucking shipping or packaging or whatever because shipping was $12. So for the <laughs> So for what I bought, I spent around $30, no more than $30. It was a little bit under $30, but for the shipping it was like 12 bucks. So a little bit pricey on the shipping. But let's just open it. Cool, so we got our receipt. I got the cookies and cream flavor. I got my receipt, dope. And then, I got this baby. <gasps> oh, how do I even open this? What the? Wow, okay, it's like in a jar. Or like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, this is a cooling pack that's so cool it comes with the fucking ice pack you guys i could probably put this in my freezer and i would think maybe use it again i don't need an ice pack though so i'm not gonna do that and then we get <laughs> a lot smaller than what i expected i will say that but you guys i got my cocoa nugs wow wow that's insane. That is insane. See, it says non-medicated on it. These do say that these are non-medicated, which is so insane. Like, what? And this is what they look like. It's insane, you guys. Look at these cocoa nugs. Wow, it looks like a fucking jar of weed. Okay, you guys, so I'm super excited. These are a lot smaller than I expected. Like, way, 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 way smaller than I expected. I don't know why, just like on the website, it looked like a fat ass jar. So, for fucking $30 for a little ass jar of chocolates, like, what and you don't even get me high but i mean it's just for like you know the what do you call that like 
Sorry about the screaming in the background. There's just like kids, I guess, outside running around and screaming, but this is my only time to film, so <laughs> please don't let them bother you. <sighs> okay, you guys, so step one. We obviously got to compare the cocoa nugs to the real thing, so I just picked up an ounce recently from... <laughs> So I recently just picked up an ounce of like this Gorilla Glue. I don't honestly know if it's actually Gorilla Glue, but supposedly it this be some Gorilla Glue, you guys. Like what? This look at this fat, fat, fat ass nug. Like what? So yeah, this is what I got, and then I want to compare that nug to these cocoa nugs. So I'm just gonna break the little seal. Mmm, they smell like chocolate. Mmm, they smell like really delicious chocolate. Okay, and then here, oh, I'm dropping it. So this is the difference from a cocoa nug and a real weed nug. So it's pretty similar, especially if you were to get like a purple strain, like Granddaddy Purp or something like that. It would definitely probably look like this since the chocolate has some purple in it. You guys, this is about to be a lit-ass motherfucking smoke sesh. I'm so excited to get stoned and try these chocolates. I really want to try it right now. But you know how everything is just better when you're stoned, you know? So I gotta try it after. By the way, you guys, I'm totally gonna make my grandma try one of these nugs and, like, get her reaction to it. So stay posted to the end of the video to see her reaction. But for now, what we about to do is roll up a blunt. Because your girl wants to smoke a blunt. Um, I just got off of work. So, you know, what a better way to spend your time when you come home from work than smoking a blunt with all your beautiful best friends. As well as eat some dank ass cocoa nuts. You feel me, boo? Today, I actually got asked by a customer how my day was going. And I was like, yeah, you already know. It's a good day, you know. Like, I'm alive. I'm breathing. Um... How's your day? <laughs> I asked him how his day was, and he was like, eh, it's okay, I guess. And I was like, yeah, I feel you. I literally feel like that all the time, that it's an okay day. You know, I'm just here I'm just here at work all the time. You feel me? Nothing too exciting. I'm not going to Disneyland or anything like that. But it's definitely a good day because it's still not a terrible day. You know, I didn't get hit by a car, you know, my... My dad and my family is healthy and everybody I love is hopefully doing well and whatnot. So, yeah, I just was like, yeah, you know, I feel you. It, it's always a whatever day, but you could always think that way and you'll feel like, you know what? My day's a lot better than what it actually is because, you know what? I hope you guys understood what I was saying. I'm not even going to continue to try to explain. <laughs> What I was saying, I'm just gonna roll this blunt, alright? Let, let's get to rolling, everybody. Again, I'm smoking on some... Okay, it's really nice to come back and smoke a blunt after a hard day of working, you feel me? So, thank you for everybody who is joining me today. I hope you guys were all having an amazing day. And if not, just always remember that it could always be worse, honestly. Even when you're in, like, a terrible state and you're like, what the fuck, man? Like, why me? Like, why does this have to be happening to me after everything I've been going through today? Like, this too? Like, just to top it all off. And it's just like, ugh, it's so frustrating, you guys. I totally feel you. It happens to all of us. We're all humans. But just remember that I'm wishing you that strength, honestly. I really, truly am. Because y'all give me that strength to really stay positive. You guys do. So thank you for that. And I just hope and I just hope that I'm able to give you guys that strength right back. Right back because you guys really do deserve it. This should be like a little mini review of these blunt wraps. So I'm using these twisted hemp um grape burst flavor wraps. And these are wraps I got in I got in last box October's hamper box. If you guys ever want to get your own hamper box, y'all can use my code Life Being Dust to save some money. And if you guys want to ever know what you get in a hamper box, I have plenty of unboxing videos up on my channel. So that will, one of them will be linked down below. So be sure to watch that once you're done watching this video. I like how this blunt is like a green color because like your butt is green and then your blunt wrap is green. 
You, you know how I feel about that matchy matchy boo. <laughs> oh my gosh, huge shout out to everybody who really does like support me and oh my gosh, I'm such a dork and you guys seriously support me to the fullest extent. It's insane. Thank you so much. I wish there was like more I could do than just say thank you. Like fuck, I need to have a giveaway, you guys. Post it, cause for Christmas, you already know we gotta spread that love in to all of our fellow stony beautiful best friends. So stay posted, y'all. If you aren't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, become part of the life of being this fam. And yeah, like I just said, Christmas time is gonna be a popping ass time of the year. Alright, so this blunt is looking a little bit whack, a little bit wonky. I'm not the best blunt roller. I feel like I swear I used to think I was the best blunt roller. I remember I would be so happy because all my friends would be like, let Destiny roll it. Let her roll the blunt. Let her roll the joint. She got them rollies. But now it's just like, what the fuck, Destiny? Like, yikes. Yikes! Alright, anyways, I did get it. See, it's like kind of crooked. Like, <laughs> we, we smoking a deformed blunt today. I hope y'all are staying lit, staying up, staying positive like always. Honestly, I feel like it's been a little bit harder for me lately to stay positive. Just because I'm so used to always being alone. I'm always such a loner. <laughs> and now I'm like working, having to work for somebody else, having to deal with the annoying customers and coworkers. Like, what? And you already know because we always like to stay lit and up and popping. We gotta play some music though. We gotta play that Kodak though. <laughs> Do you guys ever just like die? Cause, <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Y'all don't die. Ooh, that was like a chilling, nice smooth hit. You guys, that was my song right there. I've been obsessed with Kodak, you guys. He is always a my shit. My go-to artist, for those of you guys wondering. But let's go, let's have a little throwback just because sitting here smoking a blunt, just getting stony like after work or after school or whatever it is I had doing throughout the day. This reminds me of when I first started making YouTube videos. So huge shout out to all of you guys who have been supporting me since all the way, way back then. All the way when I was in a different backyard, had a little grill behind me. Terrible awkward lighting all the time. I would hang up blankets as a cool background. <laughs> And I would also listen to this song on repeat. It looks so weird doing a French and nail. For those of you guys wondering, these blunt wraps are amazing. Somebody commented on my Instagram saying that the blunt wraps were too, like, I don't know, dry, I think. And they said that they were having a hard problem making them stick. And I think it's because they didn't roast the blunt. You have to roast it once you're done licking it and, like, rolling it. 
lighting it with the lighter hopefully you guys see me roll it real quick and I did it um, that really does seal the blunt and help it from like un unraveling so yeah and honestly my blunt looks good as fuck maybe you just don't got rollies no I'm just kidding <laughs> but yeah practice will definitely make perfect and also you might have to use a little bit more saliva I think Dutch's or like, I don't know, other sort of like hemp wraps also, like Juicy J's that have the glue line, stick a little bit more easier because they have that glue line. But these are dope because they're all natural hemp. I don't know where I put the wrapper, but all I know is that they're all natural hemp. So they're like really good for you and they taste amazing. But I'm blown as fuck, you guys. I seriously don't even know what I said in this video. <laughs> this is just an after work ramble sesh. Shout out to Sasha. If you guys don't know who that is, her name is Silence Tippy here on YouTube. She's an amazing human being. I don't even know her in person. I know her just how you guys know me by watching her videos. And she has honestly inspired me so much. So I do want to give her a shout out because I don't know. <laughs> Why did I mention her right now? <laughs> oh, because she has videos up on her channel of doing um, after work ramble sessions. So yeah, shout out to her for that. But um, anywho. I want to try one of these babies. I haven't even tried one yet. You know me. I got to get lit first. Alright, so I'm just going to eat the whole fucking nug. Ready, you guys? Are you ready for this? Mmm. <coughs> <coughs> it tastes bomb. It really does. They probably are making bank, you guys. They're making fucking bank off this chocolate right now. It is so expensive. Not even so expensive. Honestly, no. Nah, let's be real, though. <gasps> oh, you guys. Ugh. I thought I dropped a crumb, and it was a real piece of weed, and I tried to eat it. And it was a fucking... It was a... <clears throat> what the heck, man? On my, on my tray? Oh, my gosh. You see, this is the one. Oh, my gosh. Mmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm, mm I got the cookies and cream flavor, and it tastes so bomb, you guys. I love it. That's so funny. I had this little tray, and I know that I, I heard like a little nug fall, but I thought it was like a crumb, so I just ate the crumb, and it ended up being like a real piece of weed. And then I look, and then the fat nug was actually the fucking chocolate. That's crazy how it really does look like weed. It totally does. Like from a distance, in the jar. Like in the jar right now, that looks like fucking weed. Like what the fuck? Like fuck yeah, you guys. Like I wish I had another jar to compare real weed versus fake weed. And then I should I should trick my grandma. We're going to go trick my, my grandma real quick. Okay. What? And smile. Thumbnail. This is cookies. Yeah, I hope this one. No. <laughs> okay, cookies. I'm gonna make you the thumbnail. Okay, now eat it. Where <laughs> do you think they're real? They look real. They look real, huh? Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's cookies and cream. It's cookies and cream. <laughs> This is a good one out of it. It's good. Is Very it worth good. 20 bucks? Yep. It is? And you want to eat the whole jar? No. And you're obsessed and you want a whole year's supply? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Everybody go tag Coco Nugs, tell them give them a year's supply. Okay. <laughs> Alright you guys, thank you so 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 much for watching my video. The sun has set. It's like super dark now. Anyways you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button if it was able to make your day a little bit brighter. But most importantly you guys, do not forget to stay lit, stay up, and stay motherfucking positive. Double deuce until next time.